Welcome back, everybody. June is wedding month on Hallmark Channel, and we are welcoming back the newly engaged couple, Dan Fallman and Jesse Newark, to our home. Welcome back, you guys. Thank you. Thanks Good for having us back. We, we made a tablescape last time. Yes. This amazing. time, Mark yep. is going to make something that you're going to love. Remind everybody exactly, though, because I, when I heard this theme, I was like, I started salivating at the ideas <laughs> over there. But tell us your theme and why it came about. Well, Go for it, you start. Yeah. It's a bohemian <laughs> aviation theme, and we're doing it because Dan's a pilot, and as yep. well as my great-grandfather was a World War II Royal Air Force pilot, so right. we're doing the bohemian and the aviation together. Exactly, Fantastic. blending both worlds, yeah. And the wedding is gonna be in a? It's it, gonna be in a hangar airport. at the airport in Camarillo. The, it's an aviation museum there. Yeah. And the backdrop air? It's gonna be a P-51 airplanes. Mustang wow. for me and a Hawker Hurricane for her. That's actually the plane that her great-grandfather flew in the Battle of Britain. So yeah, a lot, a lot of family history there and just a lot of sentimental So you value. should realize yeah. people like us. <laughs> I know, that's really we get, cool. There, it gives us so much information to work with. When I say us, I mean photographers and DIY experts. Mm -hmm. Dave Lowe is genius when it comes oh, to these sorts of things. So definitely. we thought, let's mm -hmm. do a photo backdrop. I love it. That's going to fit in with you guys and the storytelling behind it, which I'll get to. But I worked with Dave this morning. Mm -hmm. This is what we put together. You saw the big love behind you. I'll show you how we made this happen. We wanted to make it look like it was part of the aircraft, like we mm -hmm. took it apart and we used scrap metal, but we didn't. We simply used some foam sheets that we got at a local you know, hardware store. All right, so I went to town. We, these are six feet tall. The sheet comes in eight feet lengths or height, so we cut that down. I'm making the L here, Debbie, and uh, you just need a jigsaw, a little ruler. That's a big um, L, Mark. That's a big L, but you want to have that because you got a big hanger you're working yeah, true, with, true. and you want people in front of it. You don't want it to disappear. What I'm doing here is carving, carving little like grooves out of the metal, so it's like sheet metal. We want to make it look like that, and those grooves are going to fill in later on. Okay. These are wooden dowels. These are just dowels we cut. These are gonna be rivets, big giant rivets that you so would cool. use. Now this is a little bit expensive. This paint is rough around. It's a metallic paint, but you want that because you want it to look like it is part of the sheet metal. Then you take craft paint, you mix it three parts water, one part paint, and you put it on and then just spray it with water. Be generous with the water, let it just drip. Keep adding it, let it fall into place, and it looks like you're dealing with a really it's solid piece cool. of sheet metal, right? This is very cool. So I've asked you guys, we, you know, we're going to get into storytelling, but I said, please, let's do this. Let's go all out, because you know me. Go big or... Mark, go home. Yeah. Mark doesn't do anything halfway, by the way. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, Dan and Jesse are now dressed in garb. And so, sort of vintage garb, right. if you will. But you're okay. Get I love this. it. I, I feel like I need to go fly a Mustang now. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. So you guys probably don't understand this, but of all the letters in the alphabet, E is the heaviest one. So I had to get the biggest guy I have to bring it in. So Matt Rogers, Got it. could you bring Got in it. the E? Because it's very it. heavy. I'm just kidding. It's super light. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around. Let's show you what we did. So we obviously have these set up right, but it's simple. It's just PVC, a little tape, a little duct tape in the back. And then, Matt, uh, if you take it back there, we just took a stake, we pounded it into the ground. It may be a little hard to see because it's in the shadows. And you're just going to slide that over, right? So now we've got our, backs, our, our backdrop here, which is love. And that is, of course, what Do this... Do some help? Yeah, you got it, it. You got it there, Matt? Good. Um, Perfect. That's what these relationships, the marriage is based off. What do you think? So... I take a look you at it. Oh, I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> Without him, what do you think? Besides him and Oh, I love it. That's awesome. So now we want to we want to make a photograph of you guys. So we want to... When I say that, we want to make an image. We want to create a story. So if you're doing this at home and you're like, I would really like to do this, the key to doing this is have the story that's there. So obviously, love will always be in the background. Of your, of your love for each other through your marriage. I'm gonna put you guys in a position, we set this up ahead of time, so come on up here. And Dan, I'm gonna have you, because you're the, you're the man now, right? You're here to take care and provide. So as that pilot, as that stoic man, your eyes are gonna be on the horizon. Okay. I want you looking off like you're doing difficult math, okay? Long you got it. Yeah, right? <laughs> so you're here and you're always gonna be the provider for. And behind every great man is an even greater woman. So Aww. with your head on his chest, you slide into place. Now, here's the idea. Now, we couldn't just take a picture like this. We have to add special effects. So we wanted to bring in a little fog. Why the fog? Couple of reasons, for, as back to the storytelling that I'm telling you about. Go ahead, we can hit these on. Is because 
as times get tough in relationships, sometimes love is always not hard to see or find, but it's there. It's always ever present. There's your story. That's your storyline. Let's see how this is going to work out. We got our fog. I'm going to pop one here. Let's see if we can get the fog on the back side to come up just right. We got a little fan, a little music, and three, two. Let's see if that turned out okay. Let's see it. Wow. There we go. Mark. Can you oh guys see God. it on the monitor? Look at that. It's amazing. Totally light outside. So that is wow. that. So that's the idea behind. Whenever you want to do one of these, uh, a photo for people at home, find the story, find the it's, love, find the romance. I Dan, love photographing weddings. Mark made that for you, and we are sending you home with this, so you get to use this at your wedding. wedding.